Hello guys, here I am presenting my new lecture series on important current affairs. Okay, so actually what happens, the guys from the science and technical background, they usually this uh, ignore this uh, session means uh, current affairs and ZK in the competitive examinations like UCNET or other uh, examinations like UPSC okay so this implies a degradation of their scoring in such examination that's why I have prepared these lessons so that I try to include only the important current affairs on everyday basis and the gen general knowledge related to them are also included in these lectures Okay, and this will be a very short session. As I have already said that I will include only the most important current affairs. So you need to go through them and revise them. That will be sufficient for you for the upcoming competitive examinations. So do subscribe to this channel so that the upcoming lectures will be available to you. And if you like this session, then please like and share. Okay, let's begin today's current affair and today is 3rd October 2019. First one, Risha has launched a new governance initiative named as Mo Sorkar on the occasion of Gandhi Jayanti. Okay, do remember this term Mo Sarkar. And the objective of this program is to provide service with dignity to people who are coming to government offices for different purposes. Second one, PM declares India open defection free at Swachh Bharat Divas program at Chabarmati Ashram in Ahmedabad. Okay, and this one is very important, Chabarmati Ashram in Ahmedabad. Okay, third one, PM releases commemorative stamps rupees 150 coins on Mahatma Gandhi's 150 birth anniversary. That was celebrated yesterday. Okay. Then Anurani, which is currently in news, is being associated to the sport Javelin Throw. Okay. IIT Bombay has organized the Global Student Solar Assembly GSSA in collaboration with Union Ministry of New and Renewable Energy MNRE. Okay. There may be a question like. Uh, may, uh, like which IIT has organized this GSSA? So that is IIT Bombay. Now, Easy Equipment is the Indian company which has won the 2019 Damming Prize for Total Quality Management. Okay. Damming Prize of 2019 is being won by Easy Equipment and this is an Indian company and for Total Quality Management. The next one, WEF. World Economic Forum organizing India Economic Summit in New Delhi on October 3 to 4 under the theme Innovating for India, Strengthening South Asia and Impacting the World. Just try to remember this theme because this theme is very important. Innovating for India, Strengthening South Asia, Impacting the World. This is the theme for this India Economic Summit that is being organized in New Delhi T October 3 to 4 and who organizing it WEF that is World Economic Forum then village secretariat system is launched in Andhra Pradesh and under this new system the AP government one village secretariat has been set up for every population of 2000 okay try to remember these lines which I am putting in Bowl, okay, with each one comprising close to a dozen village officials from different departments like police, revenue, etc. So this is being launched in Andhra Pradesh village secretariat system. Okay, next, senior IS officer Abhishek Singh was appointed as the chief executive officer of MyGov India. And what is MyGov India? This is the government citizen-centric online platform. Then, 
Pandit Jasras has become the first Indian musician to have minor planet named after him. This one is very important. Pandit Jasras is the first Indian musician okay, to have minor planet named after him. So this is the picture of Pandit Jasras. Then Defense Minister Rajnath Singh unveils the statue of Mahatma Gandhi in New Delhi. Cantonment. Okay. So our current defense minister is Rajnath Singh, who has unveiled the statue of Mahatma Gandhi in Delhi Cantonment for this uh, 150 birth anniversary of Mahatma Gandhi. Okay. So we have seen some very important current affairs related to this uh, 150 birth anniversary of Mahatma Gandhi, and they are as PM releases commemorative stamps, rupees 150 coins for this occasion. And Defense Minister also unveiled the statue of Mahatma Gandhi in Delhi Cantonment. Okay, next. Most effective Swachita Ambassador Award is being presented to Sasin Tendulkar. Okay, Swachita Ambassador Award is given to Sasin Tendulkar in Delhi. Next. Niti Ayuk and UNICEF. UNICEF is United Nations International Children's Emergency Fund has launched the Gandhian Salins. Do remember this term, Gandhian Salins. And about UNICEF, as it is being frequently asked in competitive examination, UNICEF was created by the United National Nations General Assembly on 11 December 1946 to provide emergency food and health care to children and mothers in the countries that had been devastated by the World War II. And most importantly, its headquarters is at New York, United States. And this is the logo for UNICEF. Okay. So, now next. SBI become the first Indian bank to have office in Australia's Victoria. And you know, Australia's capital is Canberra. Okay. Then, in a special homage to Mahatma Gandhi on his 150th birthday anniversary, students from Delhi and Nancia region have created two wallet records. And this is very important current affair. The first one was in this category of environmental sustainability lessons to the largest number of students at one place. Okay, largest number of students at one place. And that is close to 5,000 children participated in this world record. This is the first one. And the second record pertains to the largest number of assembly and lighting of solar lamps. Okay. And the number of participants in this record is more than 5,000. Okay. So these are the 15 most important current affairs for 3rd October 2019. So if you like this lesson, do thumbs up and Please subscribe this channel so that the next lectures will be available to you and also share with your friends. Okay guys, then meet you in the next lecture that is tomorrow. Bye bye, take care.